Today's book is The Three Bears, a folktale classic. This version was written and illustrated by Paul Galdon, and you may also know this book as Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So, we hope that you enjoy this reading. Thank you. The Three Bears, a folktale classic, retold by Paul Galdon. I guess they're that away. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in the woods. One of them was a little wee bear. One was a middle-sized bear. And the other was a great big bear. They each had a bowl for their porridge. The little wee bear had a little wee bowl. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bowl. And the great big bear had a great big bowl. They each had a chair to sit in. The little wee bear had a little wee chair. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized chair. And the great big bear had a great big chair. And they each had a bed to sleep in. The little wee bear had a little wee bed. The middle-sized bear had a middle-sized bed. And the great big bear had a great big bed. One morning, the three bears made porridge for breakfast and poured it into their bowls, but it was too hot to eat so they decided to go for a walk in the woods until it cooled. While the three bears were walking, a little girl named Goldilocks came to their house. Oh my, uh, someone lock the doors, please. First, she looked in at the window. And then she peeked through the keyhole. Of course, there was nobody inside. Goldilocks, turn the handle of the door. The door was not locked because the three bears were trusting bears. They did no one any harm and never thought anyone would harm them. So Goldilocks opened the door and went right in. There was the porridge on the table. It smelled very, very good. Goldilocks didn't stop to think whose porridge it was. She went straight to it. First, she tasted the porridge of the great big bear, but it was too hot. Then, she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but it was too cold. Then, she tasted the porridge of the little wee bear. 
It was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she ate it all up. Then Goldilocks went into the parlor to see what else she could find. There were three chairs. First, she sat down in the chair of the great big bear, but it was too hard. Then, she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear, but it was too soft. Then, she sat down in the chair of the little wee bear, it was neither too hard nor too soft, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she rocked and rocked until the bottom of the chair fell out. Down she went, plump, onto the floor. Goldilocks went into the bedroom where the three bears slept. First, she lay down upon the bed of the great big bear, but it was too high at the head for her. Then she lay down upon the bed of the middle-sized bear, but it was too high at the foot for her. Then she lay down upon the bed of the little wee bear, it was neither too high at the head nor too high at the foot, but just right. Goldilocks liked it so much that she covered herself up and fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears thought their porridge would be cool enough, so they came home for breakfast. Goldilocks had left the spoon of the great big bear in his porridge bowl. He noticed it first thing. Somebody has been tasting my porridge, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had left the spoon of the middle-sized bear in her porridge bowl too. Somebody has been tasting my porridge, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his bowl. Somebody has been tasting my porridge and has eaten it all up, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. The three bears went into the parlor. Goldilocks had left the cushion crooked in the chair of the great big bear. He noticed it first thing. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had squashed down the cushion in the chair of the middle-sized bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his chair. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and has sat right through it, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. The three bears went into the bedroom. Goldilocks had pulled the pillow of the great big bear out of place. He noticed it first thing. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the great big bear in his great big voice. Goldilocks had pulled the blanket of the middle-sized bear out of place. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said the middle-sized bear 
in her middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his bed. Somebody has been lying in my bed, and here she is, cried the little wee bear in his little wee voice. This woke Goldilocks up at once. There were three bears all staring at her. Goldilocks was so frightened, she tumbled out of bed and ran to the open window. Out she jumped. And she ran away as fast as she could, never looking behind her. No one knows what happened to Goldilocks after that. As for the three bears, they never saw her again. All right, that concludes our story, The Three Bears. Let me read to you a little bit about our author and illustrator. Paul Galdon was born in Budapest in 1907. Imagine that. Winner of the Caldecott Honor Award, he illustrated more than 300 books in his lifetime, many of which are classic retellings like this one. Thank you. Uh, we hope you have enjoyed this book. Take care and read as many books as you can. And if you enjoyed, the Three Bears, you're definitely going to want to read or hear Goldie and the Three Bears.